Alright, so I think I've got a uh, chance to make a video here. This is a motherboard I've picked up, which is the Asus P5Q. I don't know if you can quite see it. There we go. Asus P5Q. And um, I bought it, the guy said I didn't know if it worked or not. I only paid a couple of quid for it, but I've got it back now. I've loaded it with a Cluster Duo E6850, which is a really old legendary chip of mine. I've had that since my first decent computer. Uh, I've stuck in a gig of memory here, which is uh, some Corsair 1 gigabyte 6400 DDR2. And I've stuck in this EVGA graphics card. It's a GeForce 760 GT, as you can see there. And I'm using this as a test. I've also got some random 850 watt power supply there. Now, I've hooked up a buzzer as well, since this board doesn't have one on it for some reason. And um, it's not coming on, like it doesn't post at all, or if it does, it does a boot loop. For example, watch this. And it turns off. And then it starts itself, and it just keeps turning itself off and on and off and on and off and on. Over and over and over repeatedly. And it doesn't beep at all, no nothing. There it goes again. Now I'm not quite sure what's causing this, but I guess I'm about to find out. I'm going to switch the memory first, because that's usually pretty popular. I'm going to try the memory in a different slot, and then I'll try to stick a memory. Let's try that now. Oh look, see? It stayed on now. But it still won't post. I've had it running for about five minutes like this. And it'll stay running for a while, and then it'll turn itself off and reboot again. All kinds. Right, I'm going to try this memory swap and see if that works. See, look, there it goes again. Now I'll turn itself back on. See, off it goes. I'm going to change the memory. Alright, the memory's in the last slot. Try it now. I kind of doubt it'll work, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Nope. Doesn't seem to be working. So it goes as if it's going to boot, it makes no beep sounds or anything, and the monitor stays off. Still orange. Now I'll turn itself off again in a minute. I'm going to switch the memory for that other stick here that I've got. This is a... Uh, that's a big stick of 5300, I think. Yeah, PC2 5300. God damn thing won't focus. There we go. I'm going to put this in now and try it with that. Stick of 5300's installed, let's try this. Nope, we're still not working. I've already tried this once, but I'll try it again. I'm going to reset the BIOS. Let's pull the power out. Now what you do is there's a CLRTC jumper here which is the top one, over OVMB, which is over voltage for the knob bridge. And you change it to here. You leave it for about 5 to 10 seconds as the manual, then change it back. You don't have to power the system on. I've actually got the power unplugged now. I've also tried changing this battery as well. And the voltage reads OK on it as well, so I'm not quite sure what else the problem is. It's usually a battery or something simple. I'm gonna try this. Plug it in. Turn it on. I don't think that did it. Nope, definitely didn't do it. So plug it. I'm gonna try it now with no memory. Remove that. Plug it in and see if it beeps then. Don't seem to have any beeps, and it seems to be doing the same thing. Ah, the North Bridge is getting quite hot actually, though. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's show that a graphics card. 
I just dropped the box on the floor off the motherboard, yay. Um, Alright, no graphics card installed, if it focus, that'd be great. Here we go. Let's try it now. Oh, we seem to be doing the same thing. This isn't looking good. I want you to beep and tell me what's wrong with you. Uh, let me unplug this. I'm going to take this uh, heatsink off and see what's going on there because that is really, really hot. Like, you obviously can't feel it, but it burns your fingers kind of to the touch. I'm going to see what's under there, if we've got any paste on or if something's not quite right. I believe it's on a back plate as well. Yeah, it's got a back plate on it. Right, I'm going to unscrew that and let's have a look. Okay, I've got the screws out. There's one and two. Then I'm going to remove this heatsink. Sounds very gritty. There's a little sponge around it. That doesn't look that great. Hmm. Looks like there's a hole in the chip. Like, that's. Okay. I would say that's like a hole through the North Bridge. something. the hell is that? I'm going to try and clean this and have a look if it is actually a hole or if it's just something. But it, it really looks like it goes inside. Okay, I'm capturing as I uh, wipe this in case something happens. Something comes out of it, whatever. But, it, oh, yeah. No, that that is a hole through the chip, that. You can see little shiny bits on here. Part of the chip is coming off. There's a hole straight through it. Ouch. I don't know how the heck that has happened. I'll have to take a photo and add it to the video, but... Wow. I don't know if that's with heat or what. But I can see why this board doesn't work now. And I think it's one to give up on. I suppose at least I've got a few fancy heat sinks and things off it that might come handy for something in future. But yeah, oh well. It's not much of a loss, it was like £2 anyway, so. But yeah, if you're having problems with this motherboard, maybe check under your North Bridge heat sink because that is one heck of a hole. Let me look behind under the back plate. It's just dropped off. There's no real visual. Damage is here. Everything looks okay. It's just the other side that's seems to have a hole through it. There's a a bit of it stuck to the top here as well. You can see a bit of it's come off on my finger. It's like the t a piece of the chip stuck to the heatsink. Yeah, that's really damaged. I don't know how that's happened. I've never seen that before. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say other than that. Maybe if anyone else has a problem with this board and you look under there, if you have that same problem, let me know. Maybe it's a common fault. I don't know. That's weird though. I don't know how the hell they've done that. It probably went up in smoke when it went. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching anyway. Please subscribe, uh, leave a like or something if this was interesting or helpful. Because I've certainly never seen that happen before. Thanks for watching guys. Um, oh actually, before I go, I'm going to take these off as well and see if there's any damage under them. Have a look at that. Alright, well I've got the other heat sinks off. There's loads of goo and stuff on there that you cannot get off. But that shit looks alright. Uh, then I've also got the ones up here which are off the VRM with the pad things on them. And well, the VRM seems okay. I'll just say that's that problem. That big gaping hole. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, and as I said before, like, subscribe, etc. Uh, comment if you've ever seen anything like this, because this is bizarre to me. The only thing I could maybe think of that could have caused that would be some sort of malfunction, or someone maybe using the over-voltage north bridge switch, and it's given a bit too much power. I honestly don't have a clue. Um, thanks for watching anyway though, guys, and see you later.